Uh, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Muhammad Usman Awan, and in this tutorial, we will see how to initialize a new auto database. So, to be able to create a new database, your user must be a PostgreSQL super user. So, let's see how to create a PostgreSQL super user for the current Unix user. Just follow this command, and you will get a PostgreSQL super user. Well, after creating a super user, the next thing is to create a new database. So we use the command create db to create a database. And here v8 div is the database name. Uh, I'm working with the Odo 8.0, so that's why I used this name. This can be a random name, you can use any name for your database. Well, after creating a database, let's initialize the database. To initialize this database with the Odoo data scheme, we should run Odoo on the empty database by using the dash D option. So this command will help you and this will take a couple of minutes to initialize a V8 div database and we'll end with an info log message modules loaded and then the server will be ready to listen to the client requests. By default, this method will initialize the database with the demonstration da data, which often is useful, useful on the development databases. To initialize a database without demonstration data, add to the command the option dash dash without dash demo dash data is equal to all. If you will do this, this will initialize your database without the demonstration data. But my recommendation to you is to initialize your database with the demonstration data. And after this, uh, you have to open up the HTTP colon backslash backslash localhost colon 8069 if you are on the local host in your browser to be presented with a login screen. If you don't know your username, type the hostname command at the terminal to find it or the if config command to find the IP address. If you are hosting in a virtual machine, you might need to do some network configuration to be able to use it as a server. The simplest solution is to change the VM network type from NAT to bridged. With this, instead of sharing the host IP address, the guest VM will have its own IP address. It's also possible to use NAT but that requires you to configure port forwarding so your system knows that system ports such as 8069 should be handled by the VM. In case you are having trouble, hopefully these details can help you find help in the documentation for your chosen virtualization software. The default administration account is admin with the password admin. Upon login, you are presented with the settings menu. Displaying the installed modules, just remove the uh, just remove the install filters, and you will be able to see and install any of the official modules. Whenever you want to stop the auto server instance and return to the command line, press Ctrl plus C. At the bash prompt, pressing the up arrow key will bring you the previous shell command. So it's a quick way to start auto again with the same points, uh, with the same options. You will see the Ctrl plus C followed by the up arrow and enter is a frequently used combination to restart the auto server during development. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thanks a lot for listening and don't subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Take care. Bye bye.